Surf Monkey Coconut Tobacco Fermenter Update Time. Sorry for anyone at home who was following along with this series. Um, there was a lot of fine tuning that I did with this, and then I finally came down to the simplest solution, uh, which was adding this timer. So this video is a long time coming, um, but hopefully um, it's just in time for some of you, and you know others may already have fermented tobacco. Uh, but this is what I've done so far. So everything is exactly the same. Still no vent holes on the top or bottom. Just a plain cooler with the lamp in it um, with the uh, cardboard gasket. I think I talked about the wattage of the bulb in the previous video. I don't remember offhand right now. But I've um, within this chamber I've noticed that if this light is left on continuously the um, cooler is so good at insulating that the heat source just keeps building and building in it. Um, and not over just a couple hours, but even over a couple days, it would just get hotter and hotter in here, especially because there's no vent holes on this cooler. Um, so what I did to remedy that problem was I did add this timer here. And what this does is it gives the um, heat source a bit of a resting period. So it would build up heat for, um, I believe I have it set for, to go off for 15 minutes every half an hour. So the light will be on for 30 minutes and then shut off for 15 minutes and go back on continuously all day long. What that does is it allows the heat to build for 30 minutes and then it cools off for 15, hopefully losing a little bit of temperature but not um, a, a whole lot. And then um, for the next 30 minutes it'll go back up again um, and repeat the process. But cumulatively, um, the Temperature will still rise, but hopefully only up to a certain point, you know, over a few days. Um, and I found that um, that is the ideal temperature that we are looking for. But, um, this hasn't been on continuously, and again, it takes six weeks continuous heat and humidity for the fermentation process to, um, you know, complete itself. Uh, but, you know, here's what we got. I still got the, I took out the Virginia um, leaves just because, you know, for my own <laughs> reasons uh, but this is the Havana leaf and you can see it's actually fermenting pretty well um, when when you're fermenting your leaves um, you also notice that the moisture in there you know you have like brown liquid but that's actually from the leaf itself and again you want to aerate the leaves every time you spray it and um, if you know there we go I'm gonna set the lid right there um, these leaves do need to be sprayed again they are dry they're kind of hard and again, if there's no moisture on the leaf, um, it's going to halt the process, basically. The biological processes kind of needs that moisture to um, do its activities. Um, if it's a stone dry leaf, um, nothing's going to happen. You're just having a warm dry leaf in there, essentially. Uh, so you do want to keep it moist. So I do have a surprise for everyone. I know everyone was anxiously waiting um, to see the final product. Um, this leaf itself probably has another four weeks to go just based on the amount of time that I stopped the fermentation process, turning this light on and off until I perfected the uh, timing of um, this particular chamber. Uh, and again, um, you know, I'm not saying that your chamber is going to be exactly the way that this one operates. You do need to monitor your conditions carefully to make sure that it's not a fire hazard. Um, there's a lot of good comments in um, the old videos. Just kind of scan through the comments. I do try to answer everyone's questions. Um, so there's a lot of good input there. People have their own renditions. They asked about aquariums, terrariums, even uh, someone mentioned putting in a heating mat and uh, not exposing it to light continuously, which would better simulate the um, compost heaps. Uh, so, um, you know, take a look at those. I haven't tried all of them, but I found this to be the cheapest and most efficient, you know, just using a light bulb and a cheap fixture there. Okay, but I do have a surprise for everyone. Um, here are the fermented leaves from two years ago. <laughs> so what happens after this fermentation chamber is that, um, you know, you waited six weeks, you know, on pins and needles to get it through the fermentation process. That will stabilize the leaf, um, but it's still a good idea to age the leaf in a humidor-like condition. So here we have a humidor simulator, which is a cardboard box. Um, the cardboard kind of retains a little bit of moisture, but you know you want to keep the leaves aged in a <laughs> uh, humidor basically for about you know I would say a minimum of another three months, maybe a year. 
Uh, a lot of times the boutique cigars, you know, the um, tobacco there are even aged for like five to ten years sometimes. Uh, a lot of the um, high toner turnover tobacco is probably less than a year. Uh, but here we have um, some two-year-old Havana that has been just kind of sitting here waiting for us to roll it. So, um, you know, I know it's a long time coming. Um, I know cigarettes, the, I haven't figured out the real reason for cigarettes because it's kind of an inverse proportion to cigars in that cigarettes are better when they're fresher and there's expiration dates on the cigarette pack. Um, where on the opposite hand, cigars, the more you age them, you know, up to a certain time limit, of course, uh, get better with age. So it's kind of um, different. It's kind of like looking at beer and wine. And uh, the only thing I can think of is that cigarettes are a high turnover product. And, you know, they simulate fermentation through chemical processes where cigars are done through natural processes. I don't quite understand exactly how that works. But anyway, um, here we have our two-year-old Havana. And um, in the next video, I'm just going to go ahead and start wrapping it. And um, let's see if I can do a good job at it, because I've never done it before. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> okay, well, catch you guys soon.